This is where the Renamo fighters lived. They were here for about a year. And then on Tuesday, government soldiers moved in and a fierce battle started. The Renamo fighters fled, leaving behind some of the military vehicles, equipment like weapons, for example. As you can see, the government soldiers are now fully in control of this particular area. But it's very, very quiet. If you can listen. You can't hear or see any other people around and that's because people say they're still afraid to come home. This is what happened to someone's home, for example, clearly set alight somehow in the battle and the family fled. There's hardly anyone in this village. The people we've spoken to along the way here say they aren't sure what is going to happen next. Political analysts say that Renamo really doesn't have the manpower or the equipment to wage a full-scale civil war across the country, but villagers are concerned that there could uh, perhaps be uh, disruptions uh, throughout this particular period as people are still tense. The key thing, of course, is they aren't sure where the Renamo leader is actually hiding. When the soldiers came onto the particular base, they couldn't find him. They think he's fled. Perhaps he's over there in those mountains somewhere hiding with his men. And the big concern other people have is that they're not sure what Renamo is going to do next and how it will affect the people living in the area around here.